G'day guys, Wayne here. Welcome to our Sheep Inch Insight. I'm just going to bring you on and give you a look around some of our things on our two-stand crutching trailer. Basically, you rip the sheep out of here. I pull it out by putting two hands on the bum and flicking it. Some people can twist the head and muzzle it and turn it around. You're dropping it here, it's upside down. Neck holds the sheep there. You've got full access to the belly around the crutch. Pick up your handpiece and starts it. Full belly crutch it. You can eye wig it, puzzle it, crutch it around the back. You hang your handpiece up. The wool falls into an area, put a wool edge down or a butt, as you guys over here in Australia call it. Put a butt down there, hit the knee release here, opens the cradle, the sheep will slide down there and run away, comes back up and you grab the next one. Just want to run you through this and give you a bit of a heads up on how it goes. The sheep basically runs up through this way, it runs through our anti backers, our sheep flows, we can't go back, so it moves up the race, it goes under this bar, this is an adjustment bar, so we can adjust the race in and out for lambs and ewes. It keeps walking on up. Here we've got our bristles, we've got these ones facing forward and these ones facing back. These ones are facing back, so these ones stop the sheep going forwards and these ones stop it going backwards. You lean over, you grab the sheep, drench it, holds the sheep for you. Drench it, utter it, mouth it, give it a needle or a jab from this side. Sort of thing. We've got it on a ratchet system here, so now you can walk away from it if you want to. Release it. So when you're finished with that sheep, let it go and it'll just run on through and the next one will follow it through. Or if you want to, when you're there, you can just take that one out and we'll walk through this way here. Just a couple of the things we've done recently on the trench master. If you have a look at the base here, we've now got three adjustments. One of the problems we had at the start was on little lambs, we start to push the sheep down. So now we've got it so that if you move the base in, which is very simple, it'll just tighten up the area for lambs and it'll push up on them rather than down on them. Just want to give you a heads up on how we're crutching on the strength master. A lot of people have been saying it would be great if we could crutch on it. So, um, in a moment of inspiration, we decided let's run the sheep through the wrong way. So, we've built ourselves a little infeed ramp here that goes on the front. So, the sheep now walk up this way. They walk up the ramp. They walk down here. Lean over to grab them. And it gives you access to the bump. You can crutch them. With an auto handpiece switch here. Crutch them. Hang them back up. You're finished. That release is okay. Sheep walks away, the next one comes through. Same thing. You just want to come in here and can have a look at this here. What we've got here on the bottom, we've got a. This here not only catches the wool, okay, but it also holds the gate so the sheep can't come through with an easy release. Just want to give you a bit of a look at these sheep panels. They're made out of 100% recycled plastic, drench tunnels, milk bottles, a bit of baler drip, that sort of thing. This one here we've got is a 9mm, so it's quite sturdy. You won't get much effects out of it. This one here is a 6mm, and this has got quite a bit of effects. With these ones here, you've got a curve in, so if you can't line your sheep handler, if you can't line your sheep handler up exactly, you've got a curve in, and sheep don't mind running around a curve. You know, they're good for lamb pens, calf pens, but mainly anywhere you want to run a sheep, the, the solid panel it blocks down the sheep site, so the sheep will run well through. It's like I've said to a lot of people over the field days, you can have a million dollar sheep handler, but if you can't get the sheep into it, it's a bit of a waste of time. These here will help your sheep run well.